Hey everyone, this is my first day in New York, taken not too long ago prior to our isolation, and I get a chance to explore the city, have some good eats, and more importantly, meet some really great folks here. And it's so nice to remember a time where people can interact and connect. Hey everyone, this is Tim here, and I'm pretty excited in New York for the first time. Uh, and we're getting a little hungry, and a few of you uh, suggested to go to a place called Italy. Uh, I've been to the one in Vegas, it's kind of nice to be to uh, check out the one in uh, New York here. It looks pretty fantastic. Uh, hopefully, we get lots and lots of Italian food. Uh, hopefully, they have a cannoli here or there. So, can't wait to uh, give it a try. Thank you so much for joining and uh, let's uh, grab some good food. Come on, uh, let's eat. So pretty busy here. I like their slogan, uh, buy fast, eat slow. Let's see, some nice coffees. Ooh, and we have some beautiful pastries. So right off the bat, I think they start off with uh, desserts first. And I see uh, a fabulous cannoli place. I uh, can't wait to give it a try. So they've got... Uh, Huge cannoli shells and uh, mini shells there. Hi, Shika. How are you? Fantastic. This looks amazing. So, so you and uh, Jessica over there are uh, making all the nice cannolis and. Uh, well, what would you recommend? A, a cannoli for sure. All right. Thank you. Like a Absolutely. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, maybe a bag as well? Yeah. Thank you, Shika. Cheers. So first stop, uh, we're going to get some food here, but I think I got dessert first. So Shika and Jessica made a fabulous cannoli. And let's see, there's more desserts. I can't pronounce this, but uh, I can show you. It looks really amazing. So the cakes look uh, pretty amazing, yeah. but huge. And I'm just by myself because the friends are at museums and uh, shows, and I'm just uh, I'm just here, which I like. All right, so uh, just about to make my order, but look at what they have: wonderful tiramisu, beautiful pastries, a flourless chocolate cake, and look at that cream puff. I've never seen so much cream before. Nice and healthy, full of calcium. Panna cotta coming up and actually pretty excited here because they have mini little mini desserts so I can have a bunch of little things so they've got some chocolate cake some uh, cream puffs pistachio cream whipped cream dipped in chocolate looks good strawberry mousse wow it looks really good so I think I'm gonna get uh, a bunch of little ones what would you recommend Thinking of the pistachio and the chocolate dip cream and uh, how's how's the rum cake? Okay, can I get one of those? And what would you suggest? Oh, let me go for the tiramisu. Thank you so much. All right, so I have my dessert already. Uh, so uh, I think hopefully we can now start uh, eating some uh, savory foods and uh, hopefully there's some nice pasta and meats and uh, cheeses and I can see it's actually quite full here. And look at this. Food everywhere from that corridor down to this corridor. And right next to me are all these roasted meats and poultry. Really nice here. Let's see what they have. Got some chicken, some turkey. And that looks like a prime rib. Lots of nice seafood there. And that looks like an octopus, which it is. But I think I see something I like. Let's take a look there. And I'm looking at this amazing pasta up ahead. I'm gonna try some pasta here. All right, so this is Tales from the Pasta Maker. And our pasta maker there, I believe that's Eleanor, uh, making her uh, ravioli there. So I think I'm just gonna grab a seat and watch. 
And Eleanor, no more cranking. No more cranking, eh? No. No. That's like paper thin. Yeah, it gets to uh, 0.6 millimeters. Point. 0.6 millimeters. Wow. Half a millimeter thick. Jesus, thank you for this amazing spot here. Thank you very much for coming. So this is for pasta. So if I want fish and meats, do I have to eat at all different places? That's all different restaurants. Every restaurant has their own menu. So that's a concept for this Italy. So then, so I have to sit down at four or five or six or ten different places and just enjoy. That's correct. All right. It's all different menus, all different tastings. Yeah. So, so. All yeah, right. So you enjoy the food. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My pleasure. So uh, folks here are quite fantastic here. So uh, I guess uh, you just have to eat at din many, many different places, uh, which uh, is okay by me. They just need some wine. Oh, look at that full glass of wine there. Oh, thank you. All right, all the way to the end. So while Eleanor is making her pasta, I got a chance to meet some new friends, Mike and Eileen, those with the gift of the gab where I'll get one of many recommendations on great places to eat today. Any good brunch? The Metropolitan Opera. Yeah. Up in the Met, yeah. Lincoln Center. Okay. So check that out. Yeah. It's like, whatever it is, unlimited good champagne. And a good, a good restaurant to go to in the village, yeah. Italian, yeah. where my, my friend is the chef owner, yeah. and, and it's called Raffelli's. And Eleanor is uh, cutting up the pasta like a storm. All right, so our pasta has arrived and the wine is here. I think we can start. All right, cheers. Oh, that's really good. So let's try the pasta, the, the pasta that I can't pronounce. And it's wonderful. It's got a little pocket to store the sauce. Mmm. Very good here. So... So I think that's Dan and that's Eleanor. They're, they were making the an... I can't pronounce that word. Anulati. Oh, okay. It's very good. Eleanor, what, what's in the... What's the filling? You know, it's sausage and um, short rib. Oh, okay. Oh, really nice. So filling's amazing here. Uh, Eleanor says it's uh, veal shank, short ribs, and... Uh, Lots of cheese. Really nice here. Hey, Andre, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. This looks amazing. Yeah, great. Oh, what's your favorite here? Uh, this is actually my favorite right here. All right. Yeah. The Anilotti? It's an absolute most. All right. So after this, Jesus was saying to go other places. Yeah. Where would you recommend? Within Italy or outside? Within Italy. Um, I would say the rooftop is just a great atmosphere to go yeah. to. Um, otherwise, I but, love La Piazza uh, right over here. Okay. Um, great yeah, cheese boards, meat boards. Um, if you love fish, cachet is a must. Cachet? Okay, okay, I think I'm going to visit that next. Yeah, All right, that. thank you. Yeah, okay. So that pasta was so easy to eat. That sauce is so buttery and creamy. I think they put a lot of butter in it, uh, just the way I like it. Awesome. And we'll finish up the last two here. Mm. Very good. All right, so really good pasta to start. Uh, let's see uh, what else we have here. So a fantastic meal over at the uh, pasta place, and there's more here. And I love walking around and shopping and drinking at the same time. So let's see what we have. Uh, El crudo. That looks like amazing seafood and uh, wonderful oysters. Let's see. Uh, so behind the bar, I think they have an oyster bar, lots of nice wines, and I think we have some olive oils here, and oh, alright, I love walking around, uh, you find some nice samples, let's go check it out. Hey Cole, hi, hi. this looks so good, I'm, actually I, I, I have my wine, I just need some cheese, what, what do you have here? Yeah, this is a Villa Manadori balsamic vinegar. It's aged for three years. It's a balsamic from Modena. And we're oh. serving it with some Montasio Stravecchio cheese. It's a cow's milk cheese from Benito. Oh, yeah. Man, for that's 20 good. Months. How was that? Mm, so good. All right. Thanks, Cole. I'll grab one of these. Mmm. 
Oh, that's really good. Kind of sweet and a little nutty and cheesy. Yeah, yeah. Mm, very good. Sort of all the flavors are really delicious. Mm. All right, so um, Cole is suggesting the fish place as well. So I've heard that many times. I think we should uh, head off there. All right, so finally we're at the uh, the fish counter here. Beautiful dining area. Let's see what they have. Uh, ordered quite a bit. We've got the uh, oysters, the salmon tartare, and some bruschetta. Uh, all seafood, can't wait to give it a try. But look at all the hardworking folks over there. All right, so the first uh, dishes have arrived. The oysters look really good. And look at that uh, bruschetta. Oh, perfect. Let's give that a try. Oh, soaking in olive oil. Mm. Making a little bit of a mess here, but really good. It's a um, crispy bread, poached uh, tuna belly in lots of fat. Not too salty, and the capers kind of give it a nice pop. Mm, really good. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Enjoy? There might not be enough room. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Salmon tartare is here. All right, so I'm going to try the oysters next. They look really fresh. So three of each, and uh, I'm here by myself, so uh, I think that's uh, that's all I can have. Mm. Very good. Very sweet. A little bit of brininess. Very fresh. Really, really nice. So I can't wait to dig into the uh, salmon tartare. It just looks like a work of art. Looks really nice. A little bit of parsley. I think we'll just mound it up. And really good. Look at the fatty cuts and specks of fat. That should be really tender. I'll pile it up high. Mm. Piled it up a little too high there, but very good. A little bit of sweetness, parsley really cuts it. Really nice, so fresh and cold and crispy, really nice. Mm. So really nice place here. Um, I think we're just going to travel around. I'll finish this up and hopefully take you to dessert. Cheers. Mm. I think I'm going to be rolling out of here, but uh, really, really nice. And I heard there was a nice um, rooftop cafe. It might be nice to have a nice coffee and uh, some dessert. And I think it's time for a little walk. So uh, I think I'm going to stroll on up there. So pretty amazing up here, so nice and airy. Uh, uh, the place is packed, uh, but I met some new friends, and since they're sharing their table with me, I'm sharing my desserts. But uh, look at this. Let me show you the desserts here. So I can describe it here. Well, that's the cannoli. Uh, love to try that. That's a pistachio um, cream puff. That's a whipped cream and chocolate. That's a tiramisu puff, and that's a rum cake. So uh, go ahead and grab your favorite. I'm gonna give this a try. So here's a cannoli. They were saying uh, the cannoli is at Mike's in Boston. In in Boston. My Boston. Yeah. Mike's in Boston. Mike's in Boston has the best cannolis, but let's give this a try. Mm. Pretty darn good. Very good. Oh, this is so creamy. It's a creamy one. And, and oh, crispy. So if you go to Mike's in Boston, yeah. they'll package the shells separately. Go yeah. home. They'll oh. put the cream, the, uh, uh, the cream in a... Mascarpone. Yeah. 
and our ricotta cheese in a separate container. Oh, nice. And the chocolate chips in a separate container. So you can have it fresh together. So fresh when you got home. Nice. All right, it's worth the trip. All right. Let's try the um, pistachio puff. All right. Mm. Oh. It's just squirting all over the sides and really good. Not too sweet. Really a soft, crunchy pistachio texture. Really nice. So, thank you so much for joining. Uh, while Lois and the other folks are at the museums, uh, thank you for keeping me company here. So this is uh, Italy in New York. Uh, amazing place. And uh, I'm going to finish this up and then uh, meet up with them for uh, dinner. So uh, thank you again and all the best to you. Ciao uh, for now. <laughs> all the best. Cheers.